Hello, this is a fully restored Beckstein Grand 1962 Model B, six foot seven, and it's just been finished and it's now on our showroom floor. Now the piano had a perfect rest plank, so we haven't had to change that, but you can see we've restrung it and repinned it, new felts on the dampers there. You can see everything has been renewed. It's got very high quality German bass strings and a perfect string line, which is the sign of a good string manufacturer. I'm very fond of Becksteins that are made in the 1960s and uh, of course they don't always need fully re full restoration but uh, this one did, it's been used a lot in concerts and so you can see we've changed the, the, the hammer felt, you see the jack, the jack felt there, sorry the catcher here, check felt. Um, there's no lines on the hammers yet so I haven't voiced the unicorder pedal, it can't do that, it has to artificially make lines because it's not been used at all so there's no string, there's three string lines normally at this point where you can see it's hit the strings but uh, nothing there so we'll have to make them artificially if we're going to voice for the unicorder. By the way see uh, where, where these have been replaced, the rollers or knuckles, um, they've got white, that's talc, you, new pianos have that put on as well, it just adds to the lubricant, very important to have the best lubrication possible, so that, that's graphite there. Um, it, it's put on it's a graphite in solution, put on like pencil lead, um, and that is um, you can use pencils, but obviously it takes a lot longer. Um, and that's talc put on there uh, to, so that you get the best lubrication possible. And also, if you've got any squeaks, and that often gets rid of any squeaks if you've got an old piano. As being a younger Beckstein, it's got three pedals, so that that middle one is a, a sostenuto pedal. Um, and it's worth mentioning, I've mentioned it before, but the pedals are low and angled on Beckstein, so that enables you, if you're very tall, to um, put glass caster cups under, which will raise it by about an inch, and give uh, a surprising amount of extra legroom, that is, although there is lots of legroom on this piano already. I mentioned this in other videos too, that we'd like to have uh, more um, split wedge dampers, that's these ones here, and um, half split wedge dampers, I'll show you what I mean by that. So the front of these are flat, but the back of them is split, um, and that, that gives better damping. And we take them right up to note. Normally they stop about uh, E here. This is um, that C is 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, E is 44, and these go right up to 52, 51, sorry, which is B. And you can hear the difference, I think. Um, very good damping there, and if you listen to the flat one, now let's play them both together. Well, that one you can definitely hear. That one hangs on for longer. Maybe on the video you can't hear it very well. But if you have, uh, if you don't have half split wedge here, you definitely notice the difference in my opinion. And especially if you play music that likes good cut off bark or perhaps jazz, then it's really nice to have the best possible damping. So that's a brief look at a Beckstein Model B grand piano, six foot seven inches long, um, made in 1962. That's considered as a modern Beckstein. I think the trade generally would consider everything sort of post-1950 as, as coming into a modern era for pianos. And uh, most of the Becksteins in the UK certainly uh, dating around about 1900. Uh, certainly the ones that we get hold of and restore. There's just not enough of these ones in the 1960s, which uh, I really like. So I'm very passionate about the piano. I, highly recommended if you want a good grand piano of that length. The, the touch is uh, very, very responsive. Set slightly less than um, uh, a modern concert piano, probably about 48 grams, I would say, on, is the average touch for the, uh, for the action, with a very nice up rate, probably about 30, 35 or so. So just really nice feel to it. And the tone throughout, very even and of course a rich bass being a long piano. And a good contrast, I haven't managed to have time to tone the, and voice the um, unicordal pedal, so as you can see if this moves sideways, that's the unicordal pedal in operation, but there's already a good contrast. So it's working quite well in contrast already, but I uh, would like to make it a little bit better still, and also to voice the hammers a bit more evenly. But basically the piano is almost ready, certainly ready to, to try out, and uh, can really recommend that. If you aren't able to come, then there are quite a few folks who do buy pianos just by the videos, but um, I, th I think because the touch really is very personal, it's advisable to come if you can.
Thank you very much for listening.